All right guys, day two on the van project. Uh, we probably put in about three hours so far the first day, kind of just sanding out um, some of this house paint that they had on the doors, the back, and filling up all the dents on the van, uh, including two rust holes. Uh, so these are just body filler, right? Uh, we had a rust hole on the hood, um, little baby one right here, and then also one larger one at the top here. Now you can see that one has a little surface rust where we grind it, not a big deal because we're not done, right? Obviously we don't want to prime over that, so uh, once we start sanding that and shaping it, it'll get down to bare metal uh, and shiny and clean again, then we prime it. Um, and this is the other body filler spot. So we're probably going to need um, another coat. N normally you're going to be putting two minimum two coats of body filler uh, because we're filling low spots, right? And uh, sometimes three, four, if you're doing a lot of custom body work, adding a lot of filler, then you know you could be up to five, six times of body filler coats, okay? Um, this little hole here, we didn't do yet, but we're gonna do that. We're just gonna fill that. Um, we sanded all this house paint out. There's a little dent on the bumper. I don't think I'm gonna worry about it. It's not that bad. Um, so right now, what we're gonna do quickly is just shape this body filler. Okay, we got 80 grit. It's coming off my Using a sticky pad, you could use sticky or Velcro, whatever you want. I got some guide coat. Normally, I don't use guide coat. I'll just use primer as my guide coat. But um, for this instance, I'm gonna show you, but we're not gonna use guide coat now because it's too high anyway. We're just gonna shape it by, by feel, by hand, get it down. Uh, we have a hammer just in case. We have high spots, okay? Um, I, don't, I think we're good here on these two. Here, we might have some high spots in the metal. Uh, when I was pulling it out. So if we do, we could just tap it and then refill it. And uh, we'll show you how that looks. Okay, so um, pretty much in the shaping stage, we got 80 grit. We're gonna cut all this body filler down. Okay, and uh, this fiberglass, we're gonna cut down as well and um, get ready for our second coat. Once that's done, we could go ahead and prime all of our spots. Then we can proceed with sanding the whole van down with about 360 to 380 grit sandpaper. Um, to prep it for our single stage enamel paint job. So keep watching.
little hole right there, right? We laid our fiberglass, this is super tough. Just gonna skim coat it with body filler. Skim coat that one, skim coat this dent we missed. And then uh, just go over some of this. I don't think we're, we're good here. This is done, that one's done. Maybe we'll just put a skin coat over uh, the little pinholes there a little bit. Um, and then we'll do the two, we'll do the roof. And um, yeah, keep cranking. Pretty much done for day one. Well, day two so far, uh, because it's getting a little cloudy out. It might rain, I'm not sure. But um, we're in about total of six hours. We put four hours in yesterday, uh, just kind of sanding down this house paint that the guy put on it, as you remember. Um, we did fiberglass work. So under this body filler, we have fiberglass filled up the holes, okay? Also in the middle, fiberglass but now we have a skin of body filler on top of that. Okay, so yesterday was the fiberglass and one coat of body filler, which is what we have over here, okay? And I just put a skin, I cut all the body filler down today, I shaped everything, and I just put another skin on top of uh, mainly our fiberglass, okay? That was the main one that I wanted to fill. <clears throat> and um, just filling some pinholes here and there. So that's pretty much it. Six hours in, body work is pretty much almost done. Once this is all shaped out, sanded, probably take us another, I would say another hour, give or take, to go around the car and get everything flat. Then we're gonna prime it, okay? We're gonna prime all of our body work spots with a good 2K filler primer. <clears throat> After that, pretty much it's gonna be sanding down the rest of the body panels. Uh, we're going to probably use a 360 grit. We're going to do our bumpers, body panels, everything. Go down to 360, a white single stage enamel right on top of this as a base coat. The, the whole van doesn't need to be primed. So just remember that. You don't have to prime the whole vehicle, even if you're changing a color. Okay. A single stage polyurethane is a great base, a great found. As long as the foundation looks good, this is just oxidized. Looks like they did a good job sanding. It's just oxidized. Okay, so we're gonna scuff it, sand it, and paint it. We're gonna prime these areas around here. Okay, so when I make sure I cut everything down tomorrow, I'm gonna kinda go a little wider, right? I, I might even just DA the whole, this whole area. You know, get, I, mean, I might even just DA the whole hood. Get ready for primer, so when I prime our bodywork areas, it'll just blend right into our 360 grit here, okay? 
<clears throat> but um, overall, single stage is very easy to do. Um, it's a very thick paint, so you don't have to be as finicky uh, when it comes to prep, okay? Uh, we have a little rust spot down there that we filled and one more little rust spot down here. Not bad, just have to shape those two. This is all done. Okay, this is our second coat. We had a couple of low spots in here, but this came out excellent as well. I hit my rock wall driving out one day, backing up actually. <clears throat> so that's pretty much it. Hope you're enjoying. Leave the comments down below if you have any questions. Join us on our live streams if you need any help. Talk to you soon. Bye. All right, so if you're still here, congrats for watching. This is pretty much the final step before uh, primer. Um, and you know, when you're cutting and shaping, you're gonna be using an 80 grit. Um, you could go down to a 150 to 180, even 220 before 2K filler primer. And it's always good if you wanna use a block to final, you know, to final shape it. That's a, that's a, that's a real best practice to sand with blocks. Um, and that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go ahead and mix up some primer after this and I'll see you in the next videos. We're gonna get on to priming, prepping, and, and getting ready for paint. The next video, if it's not painting, it should be just almost ready to paint and then the video after that. So don't forget to get your free auto body course at learnautobodyandpaint.com forward slash goodvan uh, where you can get this complete auto body course for free uh, and, uh, and enjoy it in a members area with uh, a bunch of bonuses and extras. Talk to you soon. It's Tony. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. Talk to you later. Bye.